Welcome to the session on estimation of steel quantities in one way slab. In my earlier video, you have seen how the calculation has been done for the singly reinforced beam. In a similar manner, let us calculate the total quantity of steel required for the one way slab. Now, in this figure, we are giving you some of the dimensions of the room. The cross dimension along the shorter direction has been taken as 3000 mm. Along the longer direction, it is 7000 mm with a bearing of 250 mm. You can observe the wall thickness that is called as a bearing, and thickness of the slab is taken as 150 mm. These are the given data. Now, I'll show you the reinforcement details how it is placed in a one way slab. Now let me take the bars, main bars. There are many ways of showing the reinforcement in the slab. Now this is one of the type we have considered. In the next video, we will show you the other type. Now in this case, I have taken one bar straight with alternative bars bent up on either side. That is, you can observe the next click. The next bar has been bent up like this at both the ends at an angle of 45 degree. The bent is made at a distance equal to L by 5 from the either support. The span of this is 3000. So L by 5 works out to be 600 mm. Now let us observe the how the reinforcement is provided in the plan. So alternative bars bent up on either side means one bar straight we have kept. The next bar has been bent up. Next straight, bent up, straight, bent up. It is placed along the length of the longer direction. The same reinforcement can be observed from the side in the longitudinal direction. All this main reinforcement will be seen as a dotted line of diameter 10 mm placed at 150 mm center to center. Now look at the distribution steel placed all along the length of the longer direction perpendicular to the shorter direction. This is a reinforcement of the distribution reinforcement of diameter 8 mm placed at 250 mm center to center. Same type of bars has been provided in the cranked portion, the top portion on either side. These are the distribution steel in green color what you see. The same thing has been seen, can be seen in plan and in the cross section it will be a horizontal line. Now let us estimate the quantity of the steel that has been provided in this uh, one way slab of dimension 3 meter by 7 meter of thickness 150 mm. Try to understand this well is what are the things we have put over here so that we will be using it in our calculation. This is the main reinforcement a straight bar placed at 150 center to center along the length means to they say that the two straight bars will be spaced at 300 mm center to center that's a meaning it will be double the spacing of these bars in the same way for the crank bars it will be double the spacing what has been shown here now let us have a look on the cross section of a one way slab on the shorter direction. You see the main reinforcement here of 10 mm diameter. I have made this 150 mm into 300 mm. So understand this concept. The minimum clear cover has been given as 15 mm from the bottom soffit. You can see the end covers here on either side 25 mm. Now let us estimate the length of one straight bar from year to year. This is one straight bar. So it is equal to Q 
nuclear span plus two bearings minus two end covers that is the length of one straight bar that is 3000 mm plus two times 250 minus two times the end covers of 25 mm length so this works out to be 3450 mm that is 3.45 meter this is a length of one straight bar now let us calculate the length of one crank bar you can see the cranking here made at an angle of 45 degree at a distance 600 mm from the support at a distance l by 5 how to calculate the length of this? Here also I have written one 10 mm die at 150 with alternate is bent up. Therefore, alternative bars which are bent up are placed at 300 mm center to center. The spacing has been doubled up. Will be used in calculation of number of bars. The length of one bent up bar will be equal to length of one straight bar plus n times 0.45 times of h. I will explain you this how we got 0.45 at the end of the session in the last slide. How we exactly get 0.45 or approximate value of 0.45 times of h. Now let us calculate what is n. n is equal to number of cranks that is crank that is done on either side. Therefore n is equal to 2. h is the center to center distance from top and bottom bars. This is equal to uh, depth of the slab. You can observe this. It is equal to depth of the slab minus bottom cover minus top cover minus half of the top bar diameter minus half of the bottom bar diameter. That will be the value of H. So that is 150 minus 2 times the bottom cover and the top cover minus 2 times half of the diameter of the top bar and half of the diameter of the bottom bar. That is 2 into 10 by 2. Totally we get h equal to 10 110 mm. Now what is the length of one bar according to the statement? Length of the straight bar was 3450 mm plus 2 times of this 0.45 times of h. It works out to be 3.55 meter approximated. This is the length of one bent up bar. Let us calculate the total number of bars required for the reinforcement along the length longer direction. Now the number of main bars that is 10 mm dia bars is given by the follow length of the longer span direction divided by 2 times the spacing I will turn 2 times this means 2 times of 150 mm that is 300 mm what I said earlier you can observe 2 times of 150 is nothing but 300 that is what we have shown in our reinforcement detailing so length along the longer direction is length of clear span is 7000 mm plus 2 times of the bearing on other side minus 2 times end cover divided by the spacing of these bars. So it works out to be 2 times the spacing is 300 mm that is 150 into 2 you get plus 1 bar extra the last bar. When I place like this, this works out to be 25 point something we have rounded it off to 26 numbers. This is the number of straight bars. Next is let us calculate the number of bent up bars. Number of bent up bars will be one number less than the number of straight bars. That is it works out to be 25 numbers. Now let us calculate the total length of the straight bars as well as the bent up bars. It is equal to number of straight bars into length of one straight bar plus number of bent up bars into length of one bent up bar. So totally number of straight bars we have it has come to 26 into length of one straight bar was 3.45 meters plus 
25 numbers of bent up bars into length of one bent up bar. The total length is 178.45 meter. The quantity as it was explained we have to take the extra 10 percent for wastage. So quantity of 10 mm dia steel is equal to 1.1 times the total length of the 10 mm diameter bar into weight per meter run of 10 mm. Weight per meter run is equal to 0.62 kg per meter length that is 620 grams per meter length. Totally we are getting a quantity of 10 mm diameter equal to 121.7 kgs. Now look at the distribution reinforcement that has been provided along the length of the longer direction of 7 mm clear span. We want to get the number of distribution bars. This distribution of bars have been provided both at the bottom as well as at the top for the cranked portion. Now length of one straight bar, we are not doing any cranking, it is all kept straight. Therefore, one length of one straight bar is equal to clear span plus two times the bearing minus two end covers. That is equal to 7000 meters, uh, 7 meters that is 7000 mm plus 250 mm bearing on either side minus two end covers at the ends. It works out to be 7.45 mm meters. Now let us calculate the number of bar bars at the bottom, bottom zone. It is equal to length along the shorter direction divided by spacing plus one bar extra. It is 3000 plus 2 into 250 minus 2 times of end covers divided by spacing and spacing has been taken as just a minute. Uh, spacing is 250 mm center to center. Uh, we just made a mistake here. Let me, let me rectify this mistake. It is 250 here. So the value works out to be 14 point something. 14 point something will be in the calculator. We have rounded it off to 15 numbers. Now we will estimate the number of bars required in the top zone in the crank portion. Now observe the sketch what we have written here a part of the slab portion with the reinforcement details. This is the bearing of 250 mm. This cranking has been done at a distance equal to L by 5 and that has worked out to be 600 mm and you see the crank here which makes an angle of 45 degree. Already we have calculated the center to center distance between the top and bottom bar and that is called as H. My intention is to calculate the length from ear to ear which has been designated as X. We know from the geometry that this angle if it is 45 degree tan 45 is equal to opposite by adjacent side H will be equal to X1 because tan 45 is 1 therefore H will be equal to this X1. These two distances are equal. Therefore, we will calculate the length of this x. It is very simple. From here, we know from the point of bend, we know the distance is 600 mm plus 250. I will go to the end. I will minus this length of end cover as well as minus this x1 distance. So, I will be getting the value of x from here to here. See the calculation what we have done tan 45 is h by x1 that is h is 110 mm as it was calculated earlier and x1 we are going to calculate and that is according to the formula it works out to be the same. Therefore, x1 is equal to h equal to 110 mm. 
how to get the number of bars at the top in one side of the slab the same number of bars can be added for the other side so number of bars is equal to x divided by spacing plus 1 x we have just now calculated we are going to calculate it as 600 plus 250 minus this 25 mm and minus this x1 will get me the value of x it has worked out to be 715 mm make use of this in the above equation so it is 715 divided by the spacing of the bars is 250 mm center to center plus one bar extra 3.86 that is four numbers four numbers on one side same number of four numbers will be there on the other side so what is the total length of 8 mm diameter bar it's a total number of bars into length of one bar total number of bars at the bottom in the previous section we have calculated as 15 numbers four numbers on the left hand side and four numbers on the right hand side totally it is 19 plus 4 23 numbers and the length of one bar was calculated equal to 7.45 meters therefore we get the total length of 8 mm diameter bar equal to 171.35 meters next is we will calculate the total quantity of 8 mm diastyl required it is 1.1 times of the total length of 8 mm diameter bar and the weight per meter run of 8 mm diameter bar it's a, for 8 mm diameter according to the par, formula 0.616 d square where d was substituted in mm if you substitute d equal to 8 mm in that formula 0.00616 d square you are going to get equal to 0.39 kg per meter and this has been expressed or explained in the first video so totally the quantity of steel required for 8 mm is 73.50 kg now let me make you understand how to get that extra length what I explained earlier that 0.45 times of h how we get this 0.45 in the bent up bar now observe this sketch this figure as I said earlier since tan theta 45 degree is equal to 1 tan theta is nothing but opposite side by adjacent side therefore h is equal to x now let us calculate the hypotenuse length which will be much more than the value of x this is the inclined length which i have shown with a red, red in color now n is nothing but here it is always a number of cranks if you have cranked on only one side you are going to take it as 1 if you have cranked on both the sides n will be equal to 2 let us calculate this h as I said earlier the h is value is nothing but center to centers between top and bottom bars and we know about that how to calculate that now let me make you understand as I said earlier that x is equal to h since angle is inclination is 45 degree let us try to find out the hypotenuse length I can use either sine or cos formula trigonometrical function if I use sin 45 it is opposite side by hypotenuse if I use cos here adjacent side by hypotenuse it doesn't change because h and x are equal so opposite side is nothing but h hypotenuse length is I have written same as it is I will cross multiply this hypotenuse length is equal to h by sin 45 1 divided by sin 45 is 1.41.2 414 times of h I am going to split it up it is 41.4 percent extra length the extra length is we 41.4 percent more than this value of x so I am going to split it like this this h I replaced with x plus 0.414 times of h this length I call it as extra length in the inclined portion in the hypotenuse length 
So that extra length is equal to 0.414 times of h, which is approximated to 0.45 times of h. That is why we have taken here, it is plus n times of 0.45 times of h. If you are interested, you can take it as 0.42 itself or otherwise you can approximate it to 0.45 times of h, which we have shown here. So this length will be 1.45 times of this height if the angle of inclination is 45 degree. If you get any other angle of inclination like 30 degree or 40 or whatever this, you can substitute in this formula, get that extra length and calculate it. Now let us look into example number 2, the same span of 3 meter by 7 meter, the same reinforcement, nothing change with respect to the first example except that alternative bars are being bent up for on each side. There is no straight bar here, you got alternative bars like this as you observe. Now, let us calculate the steel quantities for this type of problems, almost the same uh, approximate quantities you are going to get it. Let us see that how to calculate the length of one straight bar, which is inclined, not straight bar, length of one inclined bar with a crank on only one side. Take the cross section of the slab. As I said earlier, there is no straight bar. This bar has been bent once on the right side and afterwards it will be bent on the left side. The span is 3 meters, 3000 mm. The spacing of this is 10 mm dia at 150 center to center. We are not going to double this. We are going to take the same 150 mm into consideration for the calculation. Calculation of H is also same as whatever we have done in the previous case. So, length of one bent up bar will be equal to clear span plus 2 bearings minus 2 end covers plus n times 0.45 times of H. So, this is the clear span 3000 mm plus 250 on either side minus this 2 end covers and the crank n will be equal to 1 here in this case, only one side we are going to crank it and 0.45 as already explained in the previous example, h is the center to center distance between the top and the bottom bars. So, h works out to be 110 mm. So, length of one bent up bar is equal to 3000 plus 2 bearings minus 2 times n covers plus 1 time it is not 2 as we have done it in the previous example, it is 1 because only one side cranking <coughs> and this value of extra length 0.45 times of h. So, totally it has worked out to be 3.5 meters is the length of one bent up bar. So, number of bars we are going to take it length along the longer direction divided by spacing. In the previous example, we took it 2 times of 150, now it is only 150 mm. And the, according to the calculation, we have got 20, 51 numbers of bent up bars. So, the total length of 10 mm dia bars is equal to number of bars into length of one bar. 51 into 3.5, we are going to get 178.5 meters. Almost same answer we had got in the previous example also. There we had 178.45 uh, equal to 178.5, there is no problem. The quantity of a steel 10 mm dia steel is 1.1 times the total length of the bar into weight per meter run. It is 121.73 kgs. Similarly, we will calculate the length of bottom bars required that is for the distribution which is placed at 250 mm center to center along the longer direction of 1000 mm. 
the length of one straight bar is equal to clear span plus two bearings minus two end covers. So it is 7450 mm equal to 7.45 meters and number of bars is equal to the length along the shorter direction divided by spacing plus one bar extra at the end that is equal to 14 point something equal to 15 numbers at the bottom. Now number of top reinforced top bars as I explained in the previous case the same procedure follows here no change in the calculation of x same time 45 is equal to opposite side by adjacent side therefore the value of x1 is equal to 110 equal to h and the number of top bars is equal to x by spacing plus 1 x is equal to the 600 plus 250 minus 25 minus x1 will get me the value of x here 600 plus 250 minus 25 minus x1 will be the distance from here to here that is 715 mm number of bars on one side is equal to four numbers therefore the same number of bars will be there on the other side so total length of 8 mm dia bars is equal to total number of bars is 15 numbers of the bottom at the bottom four numbers on the left hand side four numbers on the right hand side so total length is 171.35 meters quantity of 8 mm dia steel is equal to 1.1 times the total length into weight per meter run it is 73.5 kgs thank you for watching the video